السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. We're still in Egypt in the visit of Sheikh Salah Jadakovich for Bosnia. After finishing our first uh, uh, conference in uh, Sharqiya in the Khaziq, we came back uh, to Cairo a little bit late and we were supposed to be meeting uh, Sheikh Al Azhar on Sunday morning uh, about 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. And they told Sheikh Saleh, I'm going to stay with, family, with my family and I come to you in the morning at 7 o'clock to prepare ourselves to go to the Grand Sheikh. And, but I warned him at that time, please, Sheikh Saleh, please, please don't meet anybody, don't talk to anybody, don't let anybody to come to you, to your uh, room or take any statement from you before letting me know. I'm not just trying to restrict your movement, but I know what's happening in this uh, country. I don't know who's going to speak to you and what is their intention. So I woke up in the morning on this Sunday and I, about seven o'clock I took my a taxi and I went to Grand, uh, not Grand, to Meridian Hotel to go to my room. And uh, while I was there, I just knocked the door of Sheikh Salah, I found it open and I entered the room, his room, and I found the woman there wearing hijab. I was in a state of shock. Okay, of course, the devil was trying to play a game with me, but I talked to him. I said, Who is she? She said, I came from the Ministry of Awqaf. I was, I'm, I, I was guided by the Minister, Dr. Uh, Mahjoub. I said, Please come with me. Come with me, come out, come out, out. Sheikh Saleh, don't let anybody to come to you. Close the door and be ready and we'll be going soon, as soon as possible. Okay, and uh, she came to my room. I said, what, what do you want? She said, let me to be very frank with you. There's a different of opinion between the Sheikh, the Grand Sheikh of Al-Azhar and the minister. Both of them, may Allah bless their soul now. And since the Arab newspaper talk about what about your visit. The Dr. Yusuf Wali, which is the Secretary General of the political party of Egypt, spoke to Dr. Mahjoub and told him, uh, where is your guests? I said, what guests? I said, the guests actually who are coming from Bosnia. So I didn't have any guests. So it seemed that Dr. Wali was a very little bit angry with uh, uh, Dr. Mahgoub, because he did not know where the guests are, and Dr. Mahgoub was very embarrassed. And they did not contact the Azhar, but they want to look for us in all the five-star hotels in Cairo. That's what he said to me on that Sunday morning. I said, what do you want now? He said, we want you to visit Dr. Mahjoub. I said, okay, of course. We have a, a meeting with Grand Sheikh, Dr. Azhar. May Allah bless his soul, and soon we'll finish will go to meet Dr. Al-Mahjoub, inshallah. Just go and reassure him that I bring uh, the, the, the Sheikh of Bosnia with me to meet with him. He said, yes, uh, are you sure? He said, yes, sure, we'll be there with him. Because to be very honest, we didn't have anything to do after that. And we didn't have an the aggressive program, apart from the visits to different districts of, Kai, of, of Egypt, of different governments of Egypt. So we traveled to the office of the Grand Chair in Azhar in the Rasa. And by the time we arrived, we just, the Sheikh Saleh was introducing the issue of Bosnia to him. And we 10, 15 minutes later on, while we were having our cup of coffee with them, one or two individuals came from the Egyptian Medical Syndicate with us. And uh, uh, he received a phone call. Said yes, doctor. They let them to finish their cup of coffee and they will send them to you. Said to us, uh, the Grand Sheikh, uh, the Dr. Mahjoub wants you to visit him in his office in Babylon. We were so thrilled because we came only to see the Sheikh and now is the Sheikh and the minister. Unfortunately, as I mentioned before, there was not the PR, uh, high level quality people to get us a car to travel inside Cairo, have to stand up in the middle of the road, finding taxis to take us from A to B to C. Anyway, we, uh, we arrived to Dr. Mahjoub. Of course, when we, let me, let me, let me come take you back. When we arrived at the Grand Sheikh 
uh, of Azhar office, the, the, the cameraman of the sheikh were actually filming the official visit uh, to him. Then we arrived to Dr. Mahjoub in his office, the Minister of Aqaf, and also soon we entered his office, the cameras man of his office came to take our videos and record everything. And astonishingly enough, he was يعني, hurrying up to meet us, uh, and he came out with, uh, without his shoes. He was actually praying and he left his shoes on, and the secretary, while he was sitting with us, with his socks only, and she said, sir, please go and get your shoes and wear it. I said, okay, I'm sorry. So يعني, it was good. And uh, while we were discussing issues with him, not both me and others, another telephone rang and uh, he said, yes, uh, your excellency will be coming straight away to you, inshallah. Just let them finish the coffee and we'll come to you. This was the Secretary General of the ruling party, Dr. Uh, Yusuf Wali, who was ranging him. And uh, so we went with uh, Dr. Uh, Mahbub in his own car. And unfortunately, we didn't have a car. Actually, he, he invited me and the sheikh to come to the car, but one individual, also from the Egyptian syndicate, put himself there to uh, come uh, in the car. So we come four instead of five, nine diplomatically or was not was not right. Anyway, we arrived there to Dr. Yusuf Wali's office, and Dr. Yusuf Wali, everybody knows that he's very, very cultured, very literate, very, yani, somebody who can actually talk to you about history and about culture, about uh, Islam and others for hours and hours and hours, and he's very eloquent, he was very, very eloquent as well. So, and he was lecturing us about the history of Bosnia, the history of Islam, the relationship here and there and here and there, and everybody was actually taken by surprise uh, to that. And his cameraman took the video and the photographs and others. And uh, on that day, we were planning to go and have a conference in the evening, press conference. And we were discussing with our people from the Egyptian University how many people used to come to your press conference. There were three, four journalists, and that's maximum. So don't take a big room, take a, take a small room. Anyway, we went to have our lunch in my parents' house. And by the time we arrived uh, to the house, my sisters told me, you see, you are on the television. Three, four, five visits there. Because actually everybody was taking the official visit and putting it on the news. So we became state visitors and everybody was happy to meet us. After lunch, I went with the sheikh to the hotel and I went to see the manager of the hotel, asked him about the room. He said, what is the largest room? He said, um, it's booked tonight for a wedding. He said, what is the second best? He said, I have a room. It could take about 80 to 100. I said, let's book it for us tonight because we have a press conference. I was talking to one of my friends from the Egyptian Medical Syndicate to try to buy some sweet. One of them said, no, 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 no sweet, no, nothing. I said, brother, I said, no way. Anyway, uh, uh, listen, learn, uh, no PR, no external relation, no population. Anyway, we thought that the room would be too big, but by the time we came down to the room, it was so full, packed of people, even some of the journalists, and the presenter were actually standing on the field because there was no uh, place for them to sit down, no chairs, nothing. You know, because the television showed us as state guests. Alhamdulillah, this is how Allah planned the best, made the best plan for you. And it was a very successful, uh, uh, very extremely successful uh, uh, press conference uh, for the sheikh to be shown that to all the Egyptian media and to the people of Bosnia to uh, spread the message of their suffering in Bosnia. And this is how Allah become the best planner for any and each one of us. If you, my brothers and my sisters, clarify your intention and make it purely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make it purely to support the poor people in any different part of the world and Allah will be your supporter as well. You support them and here Allah will support them. And this is what happened to us. Let us meet on another occasion in Cairo or in Egypt to see uh, what 
what's happening next in the Cairo with Sheikh Yusuf uh, Salah Zulakovich uh, and Bosnia and Egypt.